Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am going to work today on getting some things ready for um, for my retreat. Um, yeah, I want to make sure I have have kind of signatures done and stuff. I haven't done anything at all to prepare, and yeah, it's less than a week away. So let's say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Frida, Jesse, Jolene and Lorette. Um, I've got some Etsy shares that I want to do and those lovely ladies are are um, are the ones. They are the ones. Okay, so first let's talk about Frida. You know my friend Frida is from Rustic Prairie Gems on Etsy um, and you know that because I uh, I emulate a lot of her uh, a lot of her ephemera. She does amazing ephemera, amazing journals. And I wanted to tell you that from November 1st to the 30th, she has 25% off her journals in her shop. So you might want to zip over there and get them before they're gone. So I wanted to tell you about that. I want to tell you about um, Jesse at Vintage Studio 717 has a new kit out. You might have seen it on Instagram, but I wanted to show you for sure. Anyway, it's called Christmas Snowflake, and I hope you can I hope you can see the details. See those snowflakes in the background? So pretty. So very versatile paper. It's I'm going to be printing it a lot. I it's just it's just so fun. And actually, tomorrow, I'm going to show you a project that I did with these papers. So, um, yeah, so that'll be tomorrow's video. But aren't they so awesome? And then she did a couple of, um, like, real light. I don't even know if it shows up on the camera, but it's... it's um, real light kind of tan and then it's got the snowflakes so gonna be great for backing things so thank you jesse for a new christmas kit as you know i i print jesse's a lot because i use them a lot so there's that then the other thing i wanted to tell you is i had myself a shop over on um on jolene and lorette shop so I'm going to link both their shops below. Um, a Jewel Design is the, um, it, A Jewel Design has all the uh, digitals and stuff. And then Design Journal and Supply has other stuff. And that's where I had my big shop. And um, I, I just wanted to tell you, she's got some great stuff for Christmas like you know, those bags that I make the ephemera bags out of. She's got those in Christmas and some little bags. Anyways, I'll show you everything I got once it gets here. But I wanted to tell you that you might want to go over and check it out if you haven't been there in a while. So, that's my that's my stuff there. This is um, the Nostalgic Noel kit from Rachel and Bella Crafts. It was the... Um, it was the collaboration on November 2nd, my video aired. So anyway, um, I thought I, I, I really want to do, I want to go ahead and do um, a journal out of these. So I have them here. I'm thinking I might use this. I might use this. Cover. I'm not quite positive, but I want to get this cover ready. So we'll get it kind of, kind of smooshed down and all. It's always interesting to kind of get the get the seam in them, but yeah. So anyway, um, I think we'll be putting together some signatures today. I've got my my papers right there at the ready and stuff so anyway that we'll see if i am abusing that for that okay we'll get back to this in a minute i don't even know to be honest with you what i have what do i have in my bag i don't know okay so yes i've got this one which is 
a Roxy Creations. Oh, I had some tags that I thought would go with that, I guess. Yeah, Roxy's Creations. Let's do the, let's get the, um, get the signature ready. Isn't that cute? So the, this is her newest, newest Christmas kits. Um, so let's see, what do I want? On the, what do I have here on the front? Some greenery. Let's look on this side. This one has some greenery. This one has a Christmas tree. It doesn't get much better than that. Let's do that for the outside. Yeah, I'm just going to put signatures together so that when I get to my retreat, I can just sew them in and go, go, go. Okay, then I usually look to see about something in the middle. This is looking good in the middle because we've got that little angel with the bell and his little hand is right on the edge. So let's just, let's put that in the middle. Okay, so we'll get these all folded up and then pull out some, pull out some papers to add in. <laughs> Isn't he funny? I like him. <laughs> oh, so yeah, hope you're all having a good day. I am having a great day. We're headed out to Bozeman for Katie's volleyball here in a little bit. I'm actually filming this. Let's see, it'll be a week ahead. So it's actually Halloween today. So I feel bad where the old people in the neighborhood who are not gonna be home for Halloween, but we get very few, um, we get very few trick-or-treaters anyway. Um, that one maybe, that one. I mean, these are just lovely. They are lovely. I might, I might trim off a bit. Sometimes when I print front and back, it doesn't necessarily line up perfectly. And so I get a little, sometimes I just distress the little white bit, but I think I could just take that off there. Do I have any more like that? I better look. Yes, yes I do. So the pictures have been flying in text. <laughs> so I got pictures of my, my little dudes and they look so cute. The ones in Denver and the big kids in Denver. And so got that and then my son, he is, you know, he's just, a big overgrown kid is the truth of it. Well, he, he, uh, so he's the assistant director of the Montana D Digital Academy. And then the director, he, those two are good, good friends. But anyway, <laughs> they dressed up as Mario and Luigi. And so he sent a picture of them. It's hilarious. I thought... What a couple of fun bosses to have, you know? I loved it. Okay, this one, yeah, a little bit. See, this is the kind of stuff I don't want to be doing at my retreat. I really just save the, um, I really just save the, that one's okay. And that one has some. Um, I, I just save the decorating for the retreats because, you know, then I can, I can visit and, uh, you know, there isn't any, any technical anything that I'm doing. Come out loud, Gail. Get that off of there. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I, I just, I just save the fun part for, for that and, all kind of prepared so it's a good thing. I'm going to put Rach and Bella on the floor for the moment and get my papers over here. Okay, let's see what we would like. You know, I've got some
Okay, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start at the beginning. Get get my red and green uh, triple V vintage paper out. And let's see. How about this one? And this one. Then you know what else I'm going to do with this is I think there's just three of each left. And I'm going to put that in the front because I'll put those in every journal probably. Um, let's see. Let's look at our pre-made pages and see what we've got. Okay, don't feel like that goes well. What about this little one? Those little kids are um, kind of Victorian-y. And these... See, they could go with those little kids. Yeah, let's put this in this one. Okay. Oh, looks like I need to put I need to put corners on that. Well, details, details. Okay, let's see. I think this one might be kind of fun. Up tuck there. Let's put that in there. Hmm, that goes nicely too. Going to use them all up in this one. Okay, so let's, let's see how many. I usually go 15. 15 to 20, but usually 15. 2, 4, 6. I've got 8 there, so I need 7. Got 5 there. So just a couple more. A couple more. Oh, this was a Roxy creation, so I should put that in there. Um, okay. How about some music? Always like to have some music in there. It's a little bit too big. I have my hand right there keeps, um, keeps crunching. It's so weird. Okay, so this is a little more than five and a half, and this is eight and a half, so it's okay that way. I think I'm going to just take off the little edge here. Kind of like that. Okay, so that'll be one more thing in there. And um, we'd probably like a doily, because... Oh, and we can use one of those really pretty doilies that my friend Siri sent. Goodness, almost out. They're so great. I, w I do want more, and I couldn't tell you where to find them. They are wonderful, though, aren't they? Um, and I do think I'll put a piece. I've got so much of this stationery and so I think I'll do that. Okay, let's see. Let's see where that leaves us. Okay, I'm going to put him here. Okay. That one, that one. All these are ready to go. Just got to fold these. So then we'll, let's see, Santa. Poor Santa. <laughs> you know, when you cut the holes in the doilies, it can kind of kind of mess with Santa. Let's see. I feel like this goes good on either one of these, but I think I'm going to go red this time. Okay, let's put these in. So we have... Um, I have like, what do I have? Two coffee dyed ones. So let's put kind of one in the front and one 
towards the middle. Okay, I like those little people across from that. That looks good. Okay, then let's do the colored ones so we can, can separate them a little bit. Let's do this one green. And this one. Hmm. I don't know that I like that there. I'm wondering if I should put it here. And I will. Yeah. Because this is a little plain. More plain than the other one. Okay. Okay, Gail. You got to put it actually in the signature. Okay. And then let's put we put this one here that's fine and the music there that'll be nice music there and in between here we're going to put this one And then, I want that there. I don't know, there or here. Kind of like it there. Okay, so this one, this one is done as far as the signature goes, but I do need to put the corners on, which I'm not going to do at this very moment, but I'm going to set it aside knowing there's one more thing to do with it before the retreat. So I'll have a little stack of one little more thing and then put the ones that are ready in my little, in my little case here. Okay, let's look at what we got here. What do we have here? We have this this also needs corners can't believe i put them in there without putting corners on them and it also has tags so that was apparently a recent a recent do now what do i have i have artsology christmas kit and it's 917 oh isn't that pretty yes Okay, and it's printed on both sides. That's all good. This is the washi tape that I can play with in it. Okie dokie. So we want our front to go well with this, which this actually does. So I'm going to make this the front. Oh, look at that too. I think I like it better this way. Okay, and this one is going to go here. Oh, we should figure out the middle. This might be a good middle. Let's do this one as the middle this one as the middle. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be nice. Okay, that one's going to be the middle. This one is the outside. I think there's just five pages, so we need ten pages of other things in this one. Oof. So oh, pretty. I'm gonna go this way with this one. Okie dokie. So that goes there. That goes there. Okay, so we need 10 more pages. So, of course, we want. A red and a green. Yay. Okay. Let's see. What do we have in our 
pre-made pages that would go well with this. I actually kind of feel like this would. So, but that, I probably would hinge that in. So I'm gonna keep that with this journal, but I'm not gonna have it in the, the stuff that we have for, ooh, that would have been a good one in Rachel's too, but I didn't look at it close enough. Let's put this one in, cause it's got the tree. Yeah, let's do that one for sure. And then we could do one of these. I feel like maybe this one. Okay. And do I want, do I want this? So that's gonna, yeah. Okay. Um, that's, that's all good. Now, what about? I don't know. I was just gonna look through this and see. It's a little more 50s Christmas, isn't it? Okay. Um, what else do we have here? This is part of that. I'm going to use that to decorate too. I'm going to put that in there. Okay, let's do one of these. And some music. This music is fun too. Could put one of those in there. This one I've already torn it apart, so let's grab some just out of here. Okay. This one I'm not going to count, kind of. Let's see, we have that one. Okay, let's see, because it's kind of a half, so I'm not going to count that. What is this? Ooh, that would be good in a document journal, but I don't think I have another one of those on tap, really. Okay, let's use also Triple V Vintage, one of these. Festive Poinsettia. Let's use that. All right, and then... Could use a little bit of Florentine paper, maybe. And yeah, let's use some Florentine paper. It's kind of well, we can fold that over, but it's a little, oh no, it's just right. Okay, we'll make a pocket out of that one. Okay, so let's see kind of where we're at. So this, I wanna fold at five and a half-ish. Like right about there. But then we'll fold this over and make it a pocket on the other side. Okay. This one will also have to be folded in a bit. Oh, this would be so great to have this ready to rock and roll here. Yeah, not that. These. So crazy. 
crinkly and wonderful, aren't they? Okay. Sorry, I have a hair on myself there. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This should do it. Awesome. Okay, let's let's put them in. Ooh, what do you think of that? That's nice. I'm gonna put that there. Okay, put that there. And then, yeah, that's that's a good spot for that. Um, let's see, I wanna separate the colors a bit. This one here, and then go toward the middle here, and do this one. Okay, and I want to separate the coffee dyed as well. So, um, put this one here, right by the poinsettia page. And we'll put, I think, I think I'm going to put that there. I don't love this red with this red. So we'll put you in there like that. And then I'm kind of in the middle here, I guess. Okay, then what do we want to put the other things? Let's see. Gosh, I've got good spacing in between, so it's kind of just where I think it might like to go. I think I might put this here. And what I'm thinking about doing is then hinging this here. And that makes kind of a fun page all together. Okay, um, what we need to do, however, is this music's about to fall apart. So, let's, we need to put some washi tape on it. See, won't it be nice to have all these little kind of details done and then just be able to put in pockets and put in ephemera? I what the, I do need to go through my pre-made ephemera and see what will fit on this too. I think I'm going to have a few, a few days of, where's my scissors? I think I'm going to have a few days of doing these things. You guys... What did I do with my scissors? Huh. I do not know. Well, I'll use these. I don't know what I did with my scissors. I must have fallen in this. Stop it. not in my watch. They're not where they're supposed to be. Let's just put it that way. Okay, well, good thing we don't really need them too much today. I can use this little scissors. I'm going to have to locate those before the next video, though, that I film. Right about there. Let's just get the clip. And, oh, gosh. Put, let's put this on there so that we don't have any problems with this separating or something. Okay. I'm actually going to put another bit on the back. Just, gosh, I'm 
getting close to heaven. Well, I guess not that close to having that done, but you know, it's always kind of astounding to me when I finish a washi tape because they seem to go forever. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. Yeah, my husband's coming with me to Katie's game tonight, so I'm excited about that. And um, he's doing much better. I think we're, I think we're almost on the, on the uh, side of getting his medication all figured out so I'm super happy about that okay now I had a thought this is fairly fragile so I think I'm gonna put this this one here and then and then I can um, hinge this yeah I think that's what we'll do Gonna hinge there, okay? Hmm. I don't know. I might have to use this, but I could really reinforce it and stuff, couldn't I? Let's just fold it again. Okay. Don't mind that there. Put this here. Yeah, this is just a little taller page. And so if I put that on the corner, it's not gonna bind up in the in the signature. Okay, so now what? I figured this one out. I really like that. I think I'd like that here. And this comes out like that so again I'm gonna have to be careful that I don't get that I might have to like like flip it out like that just when I'm sewing or something because I don't want to catch this page at all because it's supposed to go out like that okay anywho where do we want this one <laughs> all that to say I'm thinking I want this little music right here. Kind of, as you're turning the pages, it kind of makes that happy. And do we want, I kind of do like that there, okay. There is that one, and we've got we've got tags, we've got this, we've got this to decorate with, and all the ephemera. So yeah, this one's ready, except that we need, once again, we need to put metal piece or metal corners on it. I swear, I go through the metal corners. I think that's one of my most ordered, you know, things like that, little t tools for, okay, so this goes in the not done yet, yet. What else do we have? Um, we have, let's, let me see, what else? I wanted to do, where are you? this. I wanted to for sure do this because I've had the digital for a while. And so let's get, oh, it doesn't have a cover. What is, so what is this? So apparently these are ones that I might like to do. I haven't even fussy cut this. Hmm. I don't know who it's by. This one I've been 
putting, kind of trying to put the um, gnomes with it. And I saw something in here. These are some packs I got from Vintage Studio 717 at my retreat. Because people bring things to people bring things to um, sell there too. And so I wanted to put these little gnome papers with this. So I will do that. Just put those. I'm just going to put all this gnome stuff in here. Okay, these don't have covers, so that's that's an issue. <laughs> so I guess we're not going to do these this year. Okay. So I can leave that at least not at my retreat. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Look at this one. It's got a bunch of a bunch of stuff with it. Oh yeah, this is um this is a digital from Tuke. Add on Blue Christmas. And I have stuff with it <laughs> that I've just thrown in here. She made she made some ephemera with this. Super cute ephemera. So that's a pocket. Mm, so cute. Um, these charms remind me um, that they have charms, Christmas charms in uh, design, journal, and supply. So I ordered a couple because I like to put them in the middle of my, um, the middle of my journal, the center. Yeah, so there's a lot of ephemera made for this. Oh, that's really cute. Let's look at this. Reacquaint myself a little. Oh, isn't that cute? Cute little journal card. Okay. This is not even fussy cut yet. So, and then look, there's more. More fun ephemera. So cute. Love it. Okay. Yeah, there's lots of ephemera made for this, so I need to get this one made. And I guess I thought that this cover would go with it. Um, let's see. Journal pages. I want to see if they're printed on both sides. Yes, they are. That's big. Oh, she attached that. This is just a lot of fun trying to <laughs> get these ready. I love it. Okay, trying to do this without. Oh, I see that. Oh, it, yeah, doesn't really matter. I can cut that off. Never mind. I was thinking it was one of the pages. But this is, see, it's all blue. But there's red and green in it, too. So, Took's Craft Table, I, she's on Kofi. I don't think she's on Etsy anymore. Okay, but then I need to fussy cut. This is like there's stuff to do on every one. It's a good thing I looked at it. Oh, these are these are pages. So these are more collage pages. These are not. So she made up the ephemera is what she did. Okay, cool. So let's set that aside. Get rid of this. Um... We 
was just kind of looking at my other things. I think this will be fine. See, there's a blue bird on it. That's why I chose it. I wish it was on the front, but, but it's not. So we'll just go with that. Okay, so let's see. I want something with a good amount of red. Like, that's pretty. Let's use this as the outside. And middle, what would we like? This one. This one will be good for the middle. Okay, two. I have six, so I need nine other pieces to go with this one. It's a very pretty kit. And different, you know, having having all the blue in it. Um, okay, go here, here, and here. Okay, six pages. So I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna use this one. I think I'm going to use two of the same, which is not what I usually do, but that's what I'm going to do on this one. So there's two there. What do we have here that would go good? Kind of like this one. I'm almost out of my pages, my three made pages. Is already cut and everything, so let's use that for the music. Um, let us grab something from here. I'm thinking this one with the ornaments. Okay, ornaments and. Also, this is new this year. It's um, from Triple B Vintage also. Some of them are long ways, but I think there's some sideways ones too. Let's use this one. Cool. Um, let's see. like one of these and I don't know what else. Let's look a little bit at these things from Jesse just to see that's a fun envelope. We could put that in the signature. love this. Christmas card to put in there too. Okay. So it's fun. Didn't I have one more pack? I did. I have two more packs. Boy, a little crazy buying stuff from Jesse. <laughs> I mean, you kind of needed to, you know? Um, I'm going to put that in there. I just love it. It's got a little blue with it. This one has blue. Okay, so probably enough of that. I don't know where am I at here? Or I think I have plenty here. 
Okay, let's see where we're at. Well, for sure we want the red and green. Okay, for sure those. So that's, that makes eight, nine, 10. Yeah, this is gonna be about right. I mean, it's got some little funky extras to it, but. Okay. And this one will be ready to go, which will be awesome. <laughs> Let's see, how are we doing time-wise? Oh, gosh, time flies when you're having fun. Okay, that, that, and that. All right, so now we'll spread out these two again. Yet again. Let's put that one there. And then we'll put this one here. Okay, um, this would be kind of nice here. And I'm thinking, like, okay, let's, I gotta do this methodically. Okay, so then, in between here, I want a coffee dyed, and then maybe here a coffee dyed. And then one, two, and then here a coffee dyed. Then we can put in the rest where we think they think they should go. I was thinking about having this here, like so, like that, okay, um, it can kind of go anywhere, so let's go toward the middle, I think we'll put it right here, okay, like that, then, Got that there. Um, like that there. Not gonna go there. Um, that's kind of neat there. And Mr. Music, where do you want to go? Let's just put you in the middle. Okay. So that one is ready to go in. Oh, do we want a doily? I wanted to think about that. I'm not going to use this one because it's very Victorian. Um, there's one that's folded. No, I don't want that one. Kind of wishing I had a blue doily. This one's kind of a, a bluish green. Let's go with that. See if there's a spot in there for that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, right here. I put that right there. Perfect. I think. What does it do over on this side though? I could glue that down and then I can make this into two pockets. Like chunk chunk. I think that'll work. Okay. Good. That one's done, done. And so that, that one can be going right into our 
take to the retreat bag. Oh my goodness, Gail. Coordination is an issue. <laughs> it's an issue. Okay, I guess, I don't know. That's just, thought that would go, I guess. Okay. And then I have this one. Which, hello, little girl. Who did this kit? Huh, I'm not, I'm not seeing who did this kit. You, oh, here it is, a jewel design, how perfect. Thank you, a jewel design, dashing through winter it's called. So perfect, because I wanted to, kind of tell you about some of the stuff she had going on in her shop so this is perfect okay I like this because it's a black oh and then this um journal cover came from Sharon some sparkle on Etsy so um I like that the the black doggy so let's get this one on its way and it's got corners already. I mean, it's ready to go. Yay. Yeah, I'm excited to do this one. I think it's going to be really fun. That looks like it should go in the middle, doesn't it? That one could also. But I think I'm going to go with this one. And, yeah. Dashing. What was it? Dashing through winter. Love it. I love the designs that she used on this. It's so pretty. Okay, you could do something fun with that. Almost have to do that ahead of time, you know, put something behind there. Ooh, I could use my angels. Yeah, I'm, hmm, okay. I'm gonna fold it, but I'm gonna leave that out for now. Look at these. Oh, let's put, let's put this in the middle so we're not, um, so we're not like having a fold down their little faces kind of type of thing. Well, we'll still have a fold, but. But yeah, that will just open up for their cute little faces. Okay. Then this one and this one. I love this kit, Jolene. I'm so excited to do this one. Okay. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Okay. I'm going to put this with this. This here. And this, all of these, this, and this. So that gives us what? Two, four, six, seven pages, eight pages. So I only really need seven. Okay. So these two for sure. One of these. Um, let's do. There was another sideways one here that was really cute. Just kind of farm fresh. That would be cute in there. Okay, and some. This music. This would be kind of fun. And I could just fold it, fold it. So, right 
about the that line. Oh no, this line. Okay, and then I need to fold it in like that much, quite a, no, five and a half, about right there. Okay. About right there, I think. Yeah, that makes it five and a half. Okay, and then I'll do I'll do some work on this to make it um, make it a pocket and a side tuck all in one. Okay, so there's that one. So that's five. Need a couple more. Um, oh, here's some pinky ones. Was there, there was pink in this too, wasn't there? Wasn't the church pink? Yes, let's use one of these too. Okay, I'll put that with the red and green ones. Okay, and then what else do we have in here? Um, not much that I can use, I don't think. Half pages. Um, what about this? Oh, that's fun. It's the right size that way, we just need to make some pockets. It's a little chewed up on the bottom, but we don't care, do we? So, right about... You know what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to... No. Okay. I'm just going to fold it. At about right there. Okay, fold you out right there. That'll kind of reinforce that part that's a little bit chewed up. This is going to be great. This will be another one that's ready to go. Don't need to do a darn thing. It's all cut out, all the ephemeris cut out. There's corners on the cover. Well, I am going to link the three that I talked about, uh, Vintage Studio 717, Rustic Prairie Gems, and um, a Jewel Design and Design Journal and Supply. But I know I've talked about a few others, so let me know if you don't know. Let's see, how much time do we have? We don't have any time, okay. So I think I'm going to leave this. I want to do, I want to do this with my angels. Um, I think, like, see, I could cut it out and then have him in there. These are from, these are from uh, tailor-made journals. So I think I need to do that before I put this together. So we'll do that. Well, thank you, you guys. I feel like I got quite a bit done. I mean, I guess we've got, we've got four pretty much ready once I do a couple other things. So tomorrow might be, uh, tomorrow is Forgotten Friends Friday. So I need to do that. So, okay. Well, we're on our way anyway to getting ready for the retreat. There'll be a couple more videos with this too, I think. So thanks everybody for being here. I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.